Okay, today's little taping session is for the MCL, the medial collateral ligament, which is the ligament on the inside of the knee. Now there's two collateral ligaments, one's on the inside of the medial, one's on the lateral. The good thing about today's taping is we're gonna show you medial, but you can also, if you've got a lateral injury, you can do it for the lateral side as well. It's pretty much the same. The only difference between the medial and lateral really is one, the size, but two, the attachment. So if you look at the medial ligament, it's a big ligament. Now that's also attached sort of onto the joint line into the meniscus, and it's designed to stop movement, if I show you this way, designed to stop movement going sideways. So meaning for the knee, stop movement going that way. So the ligaments on that side, stop it going that way. So our taping needs to replicate what that ligament does. Now when that ligament's injured, say you've got a tear or a strain through there, depending on the grade, we will do taping a lot lower and a lot higher. So we really need to reinforce that ligament, cover all the fibers, and act like a super ligament, if you like, because we're going over the skin, so we can only do so much. We can't obviously be exactly like ligament attached to the bone, but if we go quite wide and we cover all our angles, it'll be really effective in helping stabilize that joint, stop it going inwards as much. So if there's a bit of gapping going on there from laxity, it'll help prevent some of that, but also give the person a lot of feedback because the tape's on the skin, and that'll give them some more proprioception and feedback for, say, when they're walking, playing sport. So whether you are acutely injured or returning to sport, this taping works the same. Now, normally, if you're having this tape on for a long period of time, like three days, we'd use an underwrap. Today's purposes, we're not gonna use an underwrap, we're just gonna go skin on skin. But if you were doing it for sports, that's on for three hours and it's gonna come off, then you just use your rigid tape. Now this tape, I always get asked which tape you use. This is a rigid sports tape. So it does not flex in any direction, but also it's got a serrated edge. And that is allowing you to rip it like that. So you do not need tape, uh, do not need tape scissors. So first thing I do is use your anchors. Now you've got to go below the ligament attachment. So when it's coming into the tibia, you want to go a little bit below that. And in the femur, you want to go definitely above that. And what I use is basically a bit of a landmark. You're going to go a couple inches down below where that mid part of that knee is. So this one, as with all anchors, is really light, meaning there is no tension on this whatsoever. Because I don't want her to, you know, we're not going to try and tie it up. We don't need that. We need it absolutely light. And the reason for an anchor is so the tape that is going to be on tension, the attachment is on tape. So tape on tape, not tape on skin. So we're providing a nice anchor point of tape rather than an anchor point of skin. If you have a tight band of taping coming across and only on skin, it'll tend to slip off through sweat and that sort of thing. So if it's on the tape here, it's not going to slip off because that's wrapped all the way around. So one anchor there, one anchor above. Again, same set of rules, go high. I wouldn't go necessarily too high, you just gotta be careful at the back there, you don't pucker it up. And you're gonna go in a nice round circle. You may have to just straighten the leg out a little bit just to get the exact angle with that. Try not to do any puckering at all. You want that as flat as you can. And it doesn't matter if it overlaps and comes up like that, that's absolutely fine. So, there's your anchor point. Now, what we're gonna aim for is sort of three angles, and we're gonna do it twice. So just remember, that. three angles, do it twice. First one, we're gonna go straight down the middle of the ligament, and for this, what you wanna aim for is have that knee in a little bit of flexion. We don't want it fully straight like that, okay? We want a little bit of flexion. So maybe about 20, 30 degrees. And for this one, you're gonna start, if you think about where that ligament runs, if you know your anatomy, you're just gonna go straight through the middle of it, okay? So from that point there. Now what I like doing, sometimes people do it from the top, from the bottom, depends on the person. I like holding it down, okay, making sure the anchor's not gonna slip off to start with. And then this is pretty tight. You come really tight around that soft tissue and then anchor down on an angle like that. So you're coming a sort of a cross like that, all right? So there's your first one. Second one I want you to do is the same sort of thing, but we're gonna go on a different diagonal. So for this one, what we're gonna do is go straight across this way. So think of like almost like X, if you like. So this one here, straight over like that. Pretty tight through there, you okay with that? 
and make sure you really get those really pressed down. The heat of the, the heat of the skin will actually make it a little bit more secure. And then from that, those two, what I'm going to go through is on a bit different angle through here. And then what I've got is my three angles. Okay, so I'm covering obviously where they all cross over is the joint line. Now, most of the time that you know tear is probably somewhere in the mid substance of that um, ligament. If you've got one that's an avulsion up the top here, you may find that you might have to move that a little bit higher, but for these purposes, we're gonna imagine that the tear is in the middle. So you would do that twice. So overlay, the trick about this one is when you overlay it, is go halfway over the second one. So you're just increasing your widening the area of taping, if you like. So this one here, I'm gonna go, see, I don't wanna go up here because I'm gonna hit the kneecap. So wherever you went before, you're gonna go, okay, I wanna go over this one, the same line, but I'm gonna go halfway over. So same drill over there. It doesn't really matter what um, order you do this in, as long as you're overlaying them sort of individually. Sometimes people like doing a little bit of a basket weave with this one. And you can come from down below. So if you're doing the second layer, what you can do is come from, instead of having an attach up there and pulling down, you can go from the bottom and then pull up. So it's a different angle, a different line of pull, I should say. Like that. And then your last one, same sort of drill. Is coming through. You gotta to go, where do I go, where do I go? into there and across like that. So that's your taping across the MCL. And you'll find that once you've got that sort of thing, it's really solid through there. Now, what you want to make sure of is, is you anchor that off because if they're playing sport, you can't come off. So sometimes you'll need to do two anchors because it depends on where all your endpoints are. So if, you're, if one layer does not cover all the endpoints, what I like doing is also is covering all the endpoints. There's nothing hanging out the bottom. Pretty much. If you find that one of those ones came short, you'll have to do that again. So you just go over that and make sure you cover everything because you just don't want that coming off. And it's amazing how much of the, you know, having a second anchor, remember that zero tension there, makes a difference to how tight it is through there because it stops it moving so much. Same thing at the top. Just make sure all your tape is all nice. And like I said, it doesn't necessarily matter extremely if you get a little bit of an angle issue on these, as long as you're covering it. Now sometimes in sport, depending on the sport, so it might be ropey, you might overlay that with an EAB, which is an elastic adhesive bandage, which actually sort of gives you a bit of spring, but also protects this tape from ever peeling off. And that's really good if they're playing sort of a contact sport. Otherwise, if you're just like someone who's just walking around, they just need some taping for general angulation, then I don't use this stuff. Again, zero degrees. Just watch your puckering, especially when you come around the sort of the thigh, you'll find that you've just got to get all your angles right. There you go, so it's nice and comfortable for the patient. And there you have it, all right? And that's gonna prevent that, like I said, that medial ligament movement there. And you can do obviously the same thing to the other side on the lateral. Now the thing about the only thing different about the lateral is you notice with, if you know your anatomy, the medial doesn't move so much, the lateral naturally moves, okay? Because there's no attachment point of the lateral ligament to the side of the knee. So you've got a little bit more give, plus the ligament's thinner, the skinnier, okay? It's not as thick, so there's a bit more give there. But hey, we need our medial ligament you know, more, that's why it's bigger on this side for knee stability. So just make sure that you, when you tape this up on the lateral side, you'll still notice there's a bit of laxity there, but don't be concerned. All right, see how that goes. See you next time.